Let me start by asking you a question. Isn't it strange that every one of us feels insecure about so many things? That the status quo is insecurity and the need to overcompensate. That we all go about life every single day with such a negative feeling in the back of our heads. We all have so much to offer the world, yet we feel this way. We don't all go around displaying our insecurity, or sometimes we do. It manifests itself in many different ways, whether arrogance as an overcompensation tactic or just not feeling confident enough. It affects our lives, what we think we're capable of, and what we think we have the potential for. The opportunities that we think we're good enough for. The kind of people that we surround ourselves with. Let's start by talking about why we feel insecure. The way I look at it, the social nature of human beings results in the need to always conform. So, when something causes us to believe that a certain trait of ours causes us to stand out, and not in a positive way, we start to feel insecure about it. We want to always comply with societal standards, whether for beauty or for success, and when we don't, that makes us feel like we aren't enough. It's funny, because standards only come to be when someone is bold enough to flaunt their differences and something that makes them unique. That is why everyone ends up wanting to be like them. What I want to talk about today is how we contradict ourselves. I look at it as a loop of things that cause each other. So, we feel insecure because we don't conform, and that makes us inhibit the part of us that adds the most value to society. That then makes us feel like we lack luster, or traits that give us a place in our community and in our social groups. If we all feel this way, doesn't that kind of defeat the point? If we are all trying to conform, then what are we trying to conform to? I think it's wise to take a, take a step back and look at the bigger picture. There's less to be scared of when we know that everyone is afraid of the same thing. Especially when that thing is just a social construct and not impending doom. Not only do other people love the things that we hate about ourselves, but a lot of the times our insecurities are the things that make us the most unique. It's also useful to remember that the things we see as huge and impossible to move past about ourselves are things that people sometimes don't even notice. Our views of ourselves are incredibly warped and detached from the truth sometimes. It takes a lot of strength to embrace about ourselves what we think makes us feel less lovable or normal. But to do that, it's important to understand that the norm isn't for everyone to be the same. You are only as interesting to the people around you as you are different. No one gets anywhere by surrounding themselves by people who are exactly like them or by trying to be like everyone around them. This isn't to say that we should go out of our way to be different or to be an anomaly, but it's just a fact of life that we are, so why not go ahead and embrace it? Thank you.